Yeah, so um, obviously like since being in America since 2010 my goal is always to get my own place here and you know like couch hopping or renting or uh, you know living in my trailer kind of get old so uh, yeah this year I after X Games um, I moved into my new house so I think it was like 20 minutes before X Games step up I got the phone call from my realtor saying that uh, the place is mine and uh, sure enough, got home from X Games and moved in on the Tuesday, I think it was, moved into my new house. So yeah, I've got uh, 10 acres out here in uh, Southern California, out in the, the wine country of Temecula. And um, yeah, just been a work in progress. I brought myself a skid steer. I made a bet with my girlfriend Bree that if I got two X Games Golds, I would uh, purchase a skid steer. So after getting two X Games Golds, I went out and brought, I think two weeks later after getting my house, I brought a skid steer. and just been basically pushing up dirt ever since just making my place flowy and you know fun little cool things like hip jumps everywhere and a bit of a speed and style course and then uh, little fun boxes and things like that just stuff going on everywhere it's pretty sweet yeah monster energy high roller best whip contest and quarter pipe was pretty sweet um, I guess you know the last what five years I think it's been going on now monster cup and uh, it's cool to go back every year and compete and uh, yeah, this year they really went out. They had freestyle, best whip, and quarter pipe, which was really sick. I got in uh, all three events, and uh, yeah, podiumed in quarter pipe, which was pretty sweet. You know, the first uh, quarter pipe contest ever, and uh, came home with the win. And then, uh, unfortunately, in that contest, I dislocated my finger, so going into the best whip contest was pretty gnarly. Um, ended up getting a second in that to Tom Parsons, which was pretty sweet. And then. Yeah, freestyle kind of just did what I had to do to get through the day. I was pretty pretty knackered with my hands, so yeah. Yeah, I think honestly since coming to the US, my schedule's been nuts. Like since 2010, everything's just been overwhelming and just I've always just been pushing, pushing, pushing and uh, haven't really had a break. Honestly, I don't remember the last time I actually sat around and did, you know, nothing. No flying, no traveling, no nothing. It was just good to be able to just stay at home go into Costco once a week and, or once a month and buy up a whole lot of stock and then come home and sit at, sit at home and just work on the skid steel or ride with, my, ride with my bikes, ride with my buddy Cal who's been shredding with me a bunch lately and just doing things at home, not really traveling away, not having to get in my car and drive anywhere, it's been great. So we've got uh, what, a month, about a month now, a month and a half until I fly to New Zealand pretty much to start the year off again it's gonna be pretty hectic um, Nitro NZ from there we go straight to Japan and then from there to Australia and then from Australia to the US and that's pretty much gonna take up a full year basically yeah the shows amazing I mean I, I I've seen yeah like I said I've rode so many shows like 200 and something shows and it never gets old for the for the general public for people that don't even you know follow action sports or have anything to do with it you can kind of see them, that kind of crowd coming to the show and actually being blown away. You've got grandparents, teenagers, middle-aged people, you've got everything, you know, from a wide span of people that are coming to these shows. It's, it's awesome, but the show itself, I mean, it's jam-packed for, what, two and a half hours, you're seeing freestyle motocross, BMX, skateboards, Ryan Williams on the scooter, just kids that do gnarly stuff all day long and just a talented, just a real talented show it's not you know it's a bit different than going to like a rock concert or you know like your circus show these are like athletes and people that can really relate to that you know these kids that go out to the local skate parks or go to the local motocross tracks such as myself these kids can be in the same position you know growing up and having their goals set out to be able to make something like this a dream and Nitro Circus gives those kids to be able to kind of like look into the future of themselves and you know see where they're at and come and ride on nitro shows in the future would be pretty cool so yeah now till nitro is basically just staying at home just trying to practice work on some flip tricks and whatnot and uh kind of just taking that that homely feel you know just stay at home and not do anything it's great it's cool to be able to be able to ride in my backyard and that's about it really that's all it's going to go down it's just me riding in my own backyard <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh,
Straight line from the dab. 